Okay, so I'm going to power up our Nook here by pressing the power button, and then I'm going to be pressing F10 to give me the boot menu. You saw the screen where it offered me the options there. Um, I have a USB disk already inserted, so it's giving me kind of double loading here, the IP4 network, IP6 network, and then a USB flash, and it's presenting the options twice, either for partition 1 or partition 0 on the bootloader. I'm going to go ahead and hit partition 1. You might only have one option here. Go ahead and select that USB. Uh, what we should see is the GNU Grub version, where we can try Ubuntu without installing, or install Ubuntu. Right now we actually just want to do the try Ubuntu without installing. And by doing that, what it should do is boot into the desktop. Um, that way we can kind of test and make sure our keyboard is working and our monitor is working. Um, just a, a basic sanity check for installing Ubuntu. Now it might take a minute for that to boot the first time. But you'll see the purple Ubuntu screen there. And when it comes up, you will have just a regular looking desktop with one file icon um, on the desktop called Install Ubuntu. So you can see that it's come up right now. It's here. Now what I'm going to do actually before we go much further is I am going to change some of the settings just to make the screen a little bit bigger and make my mouse look bigger. So I'm coming to the basic settings, universal access. I'm changing my cursor size to something that you can actually see here. And then I'm clicking on devices and for my display, since I'm using a big screen here, I want to bring it down to something that we can actually see on the screen. So there we go. Now we have kind of a nice big jumbo screen from here. So I've got my one icon here, Install Ubuntu, you can see. I'm going to double click on that. gives me a list of options here for my language. I'm going to select continue for English. Once the keyboard layout right here, um, there is a button to detect keyboard layout. I find that always takes a very long time. Um, I'm okay with just the English US and the English US for the language and then the keyboard layout, so I'm going to hit continue. And right now it's asking about connecting to a Wi-Fi. You either want to be plugged in or connect to a specific Wi-Fi station. So I'm going to connect to the local one that I'm at right here. Go ahead and hit connect. And as that connects, it should appear up in the system settings up here. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to go ahead and select minimal installation. Um, we don't need games or office software or anything like that. And then I am not going to select anything else. Our script will install anything else we might need. So I'm going to hit continue there. We should have a fresh hard drive, so we should be able to say erase disk and install Ubuntu, um, the default option. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install now. If you have some other requirements or sharing the hard drive, you'll want to take a um, particular note at that last step to set it up as you need. And then <clears throat> it will confirm things in a confusing manner right here. Um, it'll say the partition tables are going to be changed and the following partitions will be formatted. Um, on a, on a fresh disk, 
you should be fine, otherwise you should know what you are doing, or maybe ask in the forums if you're worried about deleting some old files. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and click continue, and it is at that point going to start copying files in the background. Now I'm going to select my location, currently over in Hawaii, so select Honolulu time. And then final screen is it's going to get us to our name and our password that we want here. So for this unit here, for the name, what I'm going to say is PAN19019. I'm going to make the computer name PAN019-NUC. I'm going to make that all caps. So PAN19-NUC. And for my username, I'm actually going to use Panoptes itself. P A N O P T E S. And then I am going to select a password that I can remember for my Panoptes user. Click continue and it will be off copying files and it will cycle through this kind of menu item as it does it. You can either leave that to see the copying files. Most things should move pretty quickly. If you also had the internet connection which we hooked up, you can see mine's connected up here, then it will download some files as well. So it's at this point that you could go get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a sandwich and come back in just a few. So you can see this has moved on from copying the old files to retrieving files and downloading updated files. So yours might take a different amount of time here depending on how outdated it is um, and how fast your internet connection is. Um, but just continue to let it go through this process of, of updating and downloading all of the updates. And so it's almost complete with the install here. Um, it has been a few minutes, five, ten minutes, maybe, for it to run through everything. And what it should do is finish up and then ask us to reboot <coughs> and remove that USB key at the same time. So that way of rebooting from the actual computer rather than from the USB key, so. Okay, and as it finishes up, we can see the big warning about asking us to restart. Let me go ahead and click restart now. This will shut us down to a screen, through the purple screen, and then take us to something that asks us to remove the installation medium, so that's the USB key that it wants us to remove. So in tiny letters there it says please remove the installation medium then press enter so I'm physically removing the USB key and then hitting enter for the reboot. And this time it should come up again but it should be coming up directly from the Nook itself. So I see the menu, I'm not pressing anything there, the BIOS menu. I'm just going to let it go through to Ubuntu. And it should take us all the way to our login screen. So our login screen is there. I'm going to hit enter for the default username. Enter my password. And I have been taken into the system. 
So what I'm going to do from here is I have everything set up and installed and now I would want to run the install scripts available from our website. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now.